Hey guys, welcome to How To In A Few. Apologize for the lighting, but uh, we're still in the process of rebuilding some of our flood damage. Um, and this particular room, we have some lighting issues. But today what I have is uh, a video on how to change out your video card. I uh, got this uh, GeForce GTX 1060 card to replace the one that's currently, it's an older GeForce 9800 GT or something like that. And uh, for the first time the other day I got a message when I was trying to install some uh, video rendering uh, animation type software that uh, it wasn't compatible with my system. I don't like that. So we're going to upgrade to this uh, more modern graphics card. The graphics card that I'm running currently actually was from the previous processor and motherboard. I just carried it over to the new system when I updated it to save a couple dollars but um, now we're gonna get it back up to speed so first thing I'm gonna do is unbox this and check out what uh, what we exactly bought here all right this particular card is made from PNY it's a memory manufacturer the chipset is Nvidia It is a double slot card, so it'll take up two slots on the back of the case, but just a single, I think it's PCIe or something like that, uh, slot. It's dual fans and quite a monster compared to what we currently have in there. I'm curious if there's anything else. Uh, power connector because this graphic card apparently is a power monster. A quick installation guide and presumably an outdated driver disc. Alright, we're going to move to the kitchen table for the install. First thing I'm going to do now is take uh, my CPU housing box or the, the computer portion and disconnect the monitors and other USB type cables from it. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I'm going to take it outside and while I have it off I'm going to use the air compressor to blow the dust out of it. Probably won't show you that. There is a previous video from uh, a different computer system. If you want to check out, uh, maybe I'll put a link, but you can check that out if you want to see how to blow the dust out of your computer, which you really should do uh, periodically just to keep everything running nice and cool. But I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and we'll start on the swap of the video cards. All right, so here's the back of our tower. I'm gonna disconnect this USB, networking cable, and three more USBs. I'm gonna pull out our audio cables. Probably should power that down. Take off our first monitor. Probably just seeing my shoulder, but oh well. Second, and then our main power. You get disconnected. All right, now I'm gonna take the entire case outside and blow the dust off of it and out of it, just to ensure that it's cooling correctly. All right, now we've got the case clean. I've already taken the screws off the back when I blew it out. I do have a fan attached on this window, so we got to kind of be mindful of where we go. Okay. All right, so this is probably the best vantage point. You have this one fire, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> this one fan power in the way. So there's a little Phillips screw right here. I guess you can see it. But it needs to come out. I guess I'll let me move the camera. All right. So I've taken out one of those Phillips screws, and then now we're going to go ahead and take out the one right next to it. That's 
going to allow me to pull out one of those extra panels. There is a release on here. Get to it. All right. So this is the old G Force 9800 GT card. We are we do have another machine that we're going to put this into for the kids. Now size alone, this thing is a monster. some power for it. Alright, I have it in the slot. Push down, it should click. It's all the way seated. That went in pretty easy. Alright, there was no click, but it's in. We're going to need our two screws now to secure it. Need to be kind of careful not to allow these screws to fall into the compartment. Alright, they're pretty snug. I see the ports in the back appear to be okay. And now we what we need is a power. if I had a blank one coming straight off of the all right well straight off the power supply all right the only thing running off of this is the one fan on the case so we'll go ahead and use this My assumption is we only need to hook up one of these, but perhaps we need to hook up two, so. Let's go ahead, hook up two, and then go read the instructions to make sure we didn't do anything we weren't supposed to. Okay, as usual, the instructions are useless. So we're going to assume that because they had two connectors, that they required two connectors. I'm going to go ahead and close up the case. Now, one thing we didn't do was uninstall the old video driver which we probably should have done hopefully we won't run into too many problems I'm assuming Windows is going to notice a hardware change and we'll run a generic video driver to start with and then we'll install the new video drivers for the new card All right, a couple things I want to point out on the new card this is a DVI connector. There's the old style VGA, which is what we were running and still are on our monitors, so I required adapters. The old card had two DVI ports to run two monitors. The new card has one DVI, which we're going to go ahead and use. And then there are these display ports. I did purchase, and also an HDMI, I did purchase a display port adapter that we're going to use to uh, get the other monitor to sync up with this card. Alright, I want to just see the DVI adapter before I install it. There's a couple of bucks. It has the DVI connector and then the display port. 
connector on this side. Okay, with everything hooked back up, it's the moment of truth. That looks good so far. Kind of expected windows to wonder what was up. Looks like it took a while for the keyboard to sync up. All right. First thing we're going to do is go to PC and computer. Let's uninstall all the video drivers. Now it would have been nice to have some benchmark numbers to show you the difference between the two cards and originally that was my intention. If you notice that I don't have very many items installed, that's because uh, the Intel, I've had some over the years on more than one occasion problems with the Intel uh, Extreme Utility uh, that gives you all the benchmarks and allows you to overclock your uh, processor and it's not the first time that it has destroyed the boot sector on my hard drive and this time was no different it'll work for a while and then I think everything's okay and then BAM it just won't boot one day or won't shut down and end up with a messed up boot sector so this is a fairly clean install alright I'm back looks like it downloaded let's go ahead and install the package prefer the default locations. Uh, while I was away I checked the device manager to see if the old video card was in fact uh, gone off of the device list and it was so. Alright let's see what's going on. It said it wasn't installed but then I'm getting messages that it was installed so let's restart. All right, we're giving the driver install another shot. I have a feeling maybe Windows was trying to install the driver at the same time that we were trying to install it last time. All right, this time it looks like we got a good install. So the weird thing is that the other monitor is being picked up by the system just not getting uh, activated or a signal sent alright so it's a couple days later the video card is installed I did have to order another adapter here off of Amazon it was like eight bucks yeah, this is a VGA to direct uh, port to display port, that's what it is. So VGA to display port, and then the other monitor is a DVI and also going to display port adapter so that both of our monitors are working. There's several more display ports. There's also a DVI directly on the card, but for some reason I could get the monitor to be detected. The computer knew it was there, but it was not sending a video, uh, any video to it. Then there's an HDMI out. We had that working for a while too while we were waiting on the VGA but now we're at full resolution on both monitors again and uh, running the way we're supposed to be running alright so hopefully you found this video helpful if you were changing the video card in your computer if so please give me a thumbs up or think about subscribing there's also a support button down there 
uh, if you want to throw a dollar or something my way just to keep people like me making videos for people like you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.